We're going to be taking a, a look at this tool called Infography right here. You can turn your blogs into stunning shareable infographics powered by AI, convert your com complex blog posts into visually uh, engaging infographics that simply uh, simplify information, boost engagement and skyrocket shares. Now, uh, I would definitely be interested in this because I'm doing more Pinterest related stuff, right? You watched my last video. We're doing we're trying to get more and more Pinterest activity impressions and clicks through to our website. So the more engaging content that we can create, the better, right? So works in, in experimentation mode, using multiple Pinterest creation tools. In this one, I kind of think along the lines of that, we'll be creating interesting graphics based on our blog posts. And these will be very, very highly engaging type graphics. We scroll through, you can see the types of infographics. You'd have to hire someone to do this. I have never seen a tool quite like this. Now I haven't used it yet. We're going to be doing that in just a second. But from what we can see on the screen, this is this is a really cool idea and thought for a new SaaS product. Okay, obviously you can read that right there. But these are some of the infographics that they're showing that you could create really, really nicely engaging ones. I really like this one on the left over here, and so forth. So we're gonna go take a look at that. I don't there's not really any videos or anything like that uh, on how to do it. So we just have to, uh, you know, you just have to go with my video on what I'm creating for you. I don't know if anyone's even done a review on this. This is a software like this is not on AppSumo or anything like that. This is actually they're operating a lifetime deal access. Tier one is $49. You're gonna get 50 infographics per month, no watermark, watermark added, email support, lifetime updates. You can start a free trial. The link will be below. You can start a free trial, no credit card required. I believe you're only gonna get five credits, but that should be good enough for you to test the tool out and see if like, oh yeah, I like this. And then they have these low cost lifetime deal over here. And so then you have license, license tier two, 99 bucks one time. I know you guys really, really like these. And I'm seeing this more and more. I'm going to try to bring more of these software reviews to you for people, uh, SaaS products that are out there on the market that are offering lifetime deals that are not on AppSumo. I want to also go out and try to find those as well, because there's also a really cool way that when they make sales and they can drive traffic, they're actually going to make more money as a company when they make a sale right here than they would on AppSumo, which in turn is going to put more money into infographies pocket. And then in turn, they'll be able to do more development to the software. So it kind of works like that, right? The more money they can make with these lifetime accesses, the more money they can develop the tool and make it into something really, really great. And then the more they at some point they can actually do away with the lifetime access, or maybe they can just increase it to like 500 bucks, and then go down to monthly subscribers, which is a really, really great business model. If you were going to get into a developing your own SaaS product, that's the way that I would operate it. Probably get some funding at the beginning, do a lifetime deal access, and then you want to probably increase that lifetime access, uh, maybe still offer that for people that really want to um, invest in the product and they're willing to pay, you know, four or five, 600 bucks or whatever to invest in the tool. So you still give people the opportunity to get that lifetime deal later on down the road. But then these monthlies would be like $10 a month, $20 a month, and you would um, obviously work on building up your monthly subscriber base. So a little bit of a crash lesson in SaaS development, or if you were going to do this, they have a couple within 30 days, they actually will refund you, no questions asked, and they do have contact information. So real simple, they do have a couple other products, I'm going to look into those and maybe do reviews on those as well. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing from this company right over here, we're going to go and log in now, just real simple. Right now, you you can tell, tell it's a brand new tool. It's it's in its infancy. You can go and look at their roadmap by clicking on that button over here and we can see what their roadmap is. They have uh, pricing options planned. They have generate infographics with specific brand colors and fonts. That's a future request. It's already planned. Under review, overlapping text right there and then also in progress. Uh, updated the URL at the bottom, but it's not actually updating. And uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but add support for customizing colors. And then we can go and look at, are they filling out their changed log, change log right over here, improve crawling mechanism, save infographics uh, feature, and then feedback. You can go in here and leave feedback. And then they're going to go ahead and use this in order to, you know, upvote and so forth. So really cool. I like this. Let's go in and check, take a look at the tool now. So you have three options over here, blog, topic and content. So I've got five credits, credits, just sign up to a free account. And we will see what we're going to get out of this. And then I'm, 
I'm planning on going going ahead and, and buying the product and at least getting tier one because I really like the concept. But we're going to go with blog over here and let's just go with your blog URL. So let's just put in my blog URL. Now, I'm not sure if we're supposed to put in our home URL, enter the blog URL and hit generate. Uh, or I don't know if we're supposed to put in if we're supposed to put in a blog post, right? So those are things that we'd have to try out. But let's just go with HTTP colon slash slash learnwirepro.com and see what it's going to do. Now you can select from a vertical, which I'm gonna be using this for Pinterest, so I'm gonna stick with vertical, and that's probably the most popular anyways. But if you're gonna use this for Instagram posts, then you would use Square. So I'd like to see more options right there size-wise, size, size wise, but nonetheless, even if they would do like a, a 16 by nine size, then you could actually use this and then go and post, paste it back on your website as a blog post infographic, right? Like a banner. So I'd like to see more sizes right here, but we'll go with vertical right now. I'm glad they at least have vertical. This usually takes 30 seconds to 60 seconds. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so here's what it came up with for us. You can see that it only used one credit. It did create two graphics. I don't know if it creates two graphics or if it creates three or how it decides on that, but I like that it only took one credit to create both these graphics. Now let's go and take a look at this. So exploring in-depth software reviews at LearnWire. Let's see, thorough review of various AI tools, thorough review. So it does create the same content for all of this. And I don't know what AI they're using. I'd like to reach out to them. They do have support. You can go over here. They use Crisp for support. So I'd like to reach out to them and see, hey, what are they using? Usually when you're not advertising what you're using, then most of the time you're using ChatGPT 3.5, I would assume. But we'll, you know, we'd have to, we'd have to have actually ask them if they're using a higher amount. But nonetheless, when I look at this, just, just, it, it was, it was able to select my website colors, right? So look at my website colors and it was able to get those colors uh, and it did that automatically. I did not put in there the colors of my website. So I'm very, very impressed with this one on the right, exploring in-depth software reviews at LearnWire. It even got the LearnWire part right in the capital W right there. Thorough review of various tools. LearnWire offers detailed reviews of AI powered tools like Doc Analyzer, TubeSift, Zebra AI. Like this is very accurate. This is creating a better infographic type thing than I'm getting with all those other tools that I'm using. Uh, Pin Generator, we're using Follower, we're using Margie. This is create this already in the first click created a better infographic than those tools are creating. So I like these a lot. You can go and let's see if we click the edit button. I'm going to go ahead and push save on both these. Definitely going to push save on both of these. I also want to go and see about editing this one over here. So we'll click the edit button. You can change the color over here by just clicking. So it doesn't look like we can change, uh, you know, manually change it. But if you click the change color button, it's going to just walk you through different colors. I do like that color right there. I'm going to, I'm instead of keeping going, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on that green, a uh, green type of color and just leave it there. Right. Cause we don't get to actually choose. It would be cool if there was a color wheel and we could just to tell it what the dominant color that we want to use. That'd be really great. But I think that that is what they're doing right over here. When we go to the roadmap, they are generating infographics with specific brand colors and fonts that's planned. So that's coming down the road. So far, I'm very, very impressed with the tool. It's very simplistic, but it does one job and it does it very, very well. So we have our heading. We can actually go in here through review of various AI tools. You can even like right over here of AI writing tools so we can change that so we can change all this and it changes it on the graphic in real time this is very very impressive now here's where you could actually uh, change the url at the bottom if you wanted to be, have a specific url you could change that now since i'm on the free version it's going to give us the infography.in that's going to be watermarked but once you buy that lifetime deal starting at 49 dollars, you're not going to have that that watermark at the bottom right there. So now you can go ahead and just save that new change. You can download this to your computer. I'm going to come back over here. I want to also download this one as well. We'll go and look at what these look like right over here. We'll go to downloads. We'll open that up in uh, full screen and you can see what it looks like inside of here. That is a super uh, awesome looking infographic in my brand's colors. Uh, very, very impressed with that. We'll go look at the other one real quick. 
can zoom in a little bit too. So there's that change AI writing tools right there. And it created one, two, three, three main points anticipating AI trends of 2024, run wire shares, predictions, and expert <laughs> expectations for AI developments, providing readers with a glimpse into the future of landscape of artificial intelligence, insightful reviews, productivity software. The blog provides insights into product. So I want to do a, a couple more tests for you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are liking this tool as much as I am. This is a breath of fresh air. Really, really liking this tool. We can come up here. They added this. Believe it or not, this was not, um, I don't think that this was added. It did save both versions right over here. So we changed the various to thorough review of various AI tools. Let's see, where's the thorough review of various AI tools? I'm not seeing the one that that it was saved where, where we changed it to AI writing tools. But nonetheless, we have all these right over here. We can come back to, we can edit at any time, we can download them and so forth. I'm trying to see if we can remove these from here as well. If we click on one and just go to edit, yeah, I'm not seeing a place where we can actually remove these from saved. That's not that big a deal, but at some point, maybe it would be cool if we could remove one from saved as well, because it might get cluttered. I want to go back to home, and now I want to be very specific about what we're doing, right? So let's go over here. We're already on Doc Analyzer. This one is, let's see this software right over here. Maybe we want to do a different software, so I'm just going to come back up over here. And let's just say we're going to go and look at ZebraCat, right? So I'm going to click on that one and I don't know, we do have an image right there that I created and posted, but other than that, that's the only image we did have a pricing table image right there as well. So uh, I want to go ahead and grab this one right here. It's a very specific URL and I want to go back into infography.in. We're going to go with blog and we're going to go vertical and I'm going to stick with vertical because I'm actually going to use these and I'm going to say generate. Now it should go out and generate real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and it does specifically write them based on the URL. This is almost like a dream come true that I've actually been looking for a tool just like this. Now, because we put in a specific URL right here, guys, a specific URL blog page, it created one, two, three, four, five, six. It created six graphics for us, infographics for us and it only took one credit, right? I think you want to be sure that you save the ones you like so you don't lose them. This one, it created it in blue. Maybe I would want to go into this blue one and push the edit button and then maybe change the colors. And you just go in here and sift through different color variations. That green, I liked that one. We'll keep coming through and see if the next green one that we land on, that's bright green and yellow, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to push save right there and then we'll come back in over here. Okay. So it actually saved it right there, but look at this guys, exploring zebra cat AI, a game changer in video content creation. Now it's going to be the same text, but different designs. Once you find a design that you like, right, we can come through here. Now, one thing I can say that I wish that if we found a design that we really like, like I like this one right over here on this one, just I like the way that the graphics are. And then I like this one over here too. But these are the two that I really, really like. Okay, so I wish that uh, I'm going to just push save right here that we could have a, a, a button up here at the top of the of the design type or design style that we like. Maybe uh, it creates th uh, these six major design styles and maybe I have a chance at getting this design style every time. But certainly we should be able to default and say, hey, you know what? I, I like this. I like the text right there. It's on a um, brand point and I like how it has these like window boxes like we're on a computer right here. And I really like this design style, right? So it'd be cool if we could do that. But innovative AI video editing tool, ZebraCat is a revolutionary tool that leverages AI technology, affordable pricing and features, user-friendly interface. Now it didn't use any of the images that were currently on the page. It, it just completely creates the infographic for us. If you want more icons on the screen, then you would probably go with maybe this one might be a little bit more engaging because it does have some icons and some images that, that it's bringing in, but the text is very small on those. So I, I tend to like these ones with the text being a little bit bigger. This one's uh, not bad right there as well, but I really, really like this one right here. And so maybe we want to save that one. And then maybe we want to come up and save the, this one over here that I like as well. I want to look at what this one would look like if we opened this one up and then change 
change the colors right here. So even just to a green right there, that looks good as well. Save. And then we can go back over here and just um, push the download button right there. Open that bad boy up and look at what this one looks like as well. So, I mean, look at these graphics that it's creating for us in a matter of seconds. This is like a dream tool for blogging, I think. If you're doing Pinterest and blogging, the next logical step that I could think of is connecting this much like a, a, a social media automation tool to where we can basically connect our Pinterest account over here and then come over here and do like a schedule queue feature right there and actually come in here and actually schedule these. That would be super super fantastic, right? But overall, I'm very, very impressed. Again, we can go over to saved and we can look at the ones that we have saved over here as well. So really, really good stuff, guys. You do want to make sure you save the ones you like, because as you can see, when you come back to home, you're, you're, you're going to be gone, right? Like any of those other ones, they're gone. So we've done two blog styles. It will do one based on your homepage. It will do one based on specific URLs, which I think that that's the best use case because it created some really good ones and it gave us six variations. Now I want to go and just look at so if you're at topic right here and I just say AI content creation vertical generate we're going to just test out these last two couple features here but overall very very impressed with this tool remember the link will be below you can go and sign up for currently they have a lifetime deal nobody knows about this software so we have AI content creation it's just going to automatically create some cool stuff right and it looks like it does create in these six styles right here so I would imagine that they're going to add more templates if we come in through over here those are the six templates that it has so far I want to look and see if they're adding more like I want to boost your blogs like this one right here is super cool I like these, but I didn't see those ones specifically created. Customize text colors and more to make your infographic pop. So maybe under the change color and then editing, that would be cool. But I'm not seeing these ones I'm very, very impressed with, but those ones doesn't seem like it created the, that exact style infographics a month yeah so it doesn't say anything about the templates in here obviously that's the next step is possibly allowing us to publish these directly to social media accounts especially pinterest because these would view very well on pinterest there's skyscraper type of vertical posts that do well on uh, sites like pinterest you could also use this and to sell these on uh, on fiverr you could create a, an, up, an upward gig or a fiverr gig and actually create this as a job and actually do this as a freelancer which is super super cool but again uh, i'd like to see more than just the six that it's creating i'd like to see more than than that right but i do like this ai content creation right there because we don't want all these to look the same right so maybe on this one i'm just going to go over here i just don't know if that one's going to look that good so i'm going to go to edit change the color on this and then just going to push save right there and then last but not least let's go back to home and let's go back to looks like this part right here did that just change i'm not really sure if they just literally they're like working on the software right now okay there we go so then the last one we'll go with content right here and let's just say we want to we have content or we have an ai prompt that we want to use or something like that and maybe we just want to go in here and grab some content right over here so i grab this content here and put it in the box push return and then we'll come back over here and grab some more content right over here maybe and i don't know how much content you can actually fit inside of here it looks like you can fit quite a bit of content and then i'm just going to say you know key takeaways right over here I'll just grab that come back into the tool paste that in right there and it doesn't look like it has a so you can paste your entire blog post right here as well or content from another site and then we can just push generate right here okay and it, you literally only took like 15 seconds to do this and you can see we have Thrive, the ultimate business. We do have some different designs coming in right here. So they have some different designs. They gave us three different designs right over here. All these look really, really good. I really, really like these. I'm gonna go ahead and just push save on all these. But you can see that you're getting fantastic infographics. It's only gonna get better from here. If this is the start, if this is the base of the tool, then I'm very, very impressed and I'm excited to see where infography is going to take their tool. Let me know what you guys thought below. I, I can definitely see the massive use case of this for either selling these on Fiverr or using these in your own business to go and um, publish these on Pinterest. So I would use all these landscape posts for Pinterest 
let's go ahead and go and do one more because I didn't show you square. I may as well go in and find maybe breeze doc right over here. We're going to grab the URL right here, come back in to infography blog, and we're going to go with a square right here. I'm going to put that um, blog post in right there, the URL, and then push generate. I want to make sure I show you all the parts of the tool. This is this would be the square functionality or the square. We'll see what it ends up looking like. But you can see I'm going to keep talking over this right now because you'll be able to see that it's very, very fast. That literally only took like 10 seconds, right? And so here are the squares that created eight, what is that, six, seven, eight, eight graphics for us right here. And you can actually just download all of them. Go change the colors and download all of them because they are going to just look different, you know, like you could post all these and only one of them could actually hit. And so I'm going to go ahead and save these. Let's see right over here. You can see where the um, text gets um, big right there. I'm not sure if we're um, able to fix that on this particular infographic. You can't really click on here. You can't really do a whole lot. I want to change, but when you change the colors, those do stand out and they're brighter. I like that. But you would want to come in, come in here and cut down on the text on this specific one right here. Maybe just get rid of that right there. It's going to look better. Maybe just put a period, right? So then you would come up here and maybe just, you know, it's the way it's writing. You might want to fix that or make it shorter. You could even um, add these and go and make them shorter. I'd love them to have a little option right here. Make shorter, make longer. That would, there's, this tool could really, really be developed in a, an amazing way. Like right over here to just be able to do a little bit with the AI right directly inside of this editor. And then maybe like being able to click on these image elements and change them out and so forth. Man, this would be a, this is, this software is only going to get better and better. But I'm very, very impressed. I would give this a 4.5 stars. I'm very, very impressed. This is more impressive than a lot of the apps that I'm seeing on AppSumo. And so let me know what you guys think of this. I can definitely see how I can start using this in my business, especially for Pinterest. I'd love to see them have an automation feature where I can publish this, schedule it like Marky. And then this would just basically be a go-to tool right over here that I would use. Let me know what you guys think. Link will be below to sign up for a free trial and I'll see you in the next video.